G'day! In today's video, I've got a HP Beats all-in-one 23N100 or 100A and I'm wanting to replace the hard drive in this This is a relatively large one, so it's going to be difficult to capture it in screen, in frame But, look at this It has a inbuilt headphone hanger Because where else are you going to stick your Beats? Come on now Anyway, besides that, I'll move these screws out of the way so I don't knock them everywhere. I don't really want to clean them up. Over here, we have one screw, and over here, that you cannot see, we have another screw. Pull out that rubber foot, then undo one screw that is here, and I find my screwdriver. I don't know if this is going to pop the bottom. Yes, it is. It's popped in the bottom. To do with that to this side as well. Rubber footing comes out. I need my little tweezers. Rubber footing comes out. Single screw. Undo, undo, undo. Pop, 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 pop. Now there does look to be a screw under here. On well, this one, it's loose. I don't know why. But if I work my way around using a plastic pry tool or just pure lifting, you can hear it popping. Go. Okay. And oddly enough, that is off. Not much going on in here. Put that down. Now, where's this hard drive going to be? I'm going to assume it's going to be here. So no wonder this is going so slow. They're also using a 2.5 inch hard drive in here. Take that out. Slide. Oh, we've got this one here as well, do we? A weird kind of lock screw, it looks like. One. Need a lock. Ah, there we go. We have a one terabyte SSHD. Which on my YouTube shorts, I just actually started talking about one of them. But that's not what we want to use it here. We're simply not 08 2020, uh, 2014. We're 2024. So let's make this a bit more modern and put in one of these an MX 500, 500 gig model, which will kick this laptop or this all in one into some gear. Now, right now, it is just kind of trundling along. Already got to do a Windows reinstall at the moment. Uh, what's going on with it at the moment is it's constantly generating a temporary user profile. And every time it restarts, it's doing that. So Windows has gone a bit haywire. I tried to use reg, reg, reg edit to correct that, and that didn't really make any difference whatsoever. Deleted the dot back on the file on the registry file, deleted the original, put it back there, and it made zero difference. As soon as it restarted, I went straight back into a temporary user and was no good. So if we're gonna reinstall it, let's reinstall it on a much faster and much fresher SSD. I'll give this a quick dust blow while I'm here, or at least I will in a moment. That will be off camera. I don't know if this is over designed or if it's just the right amount of design. There's a bit of overspray going on here. I'm not sure what, what happened there, but fair enough. They wanted a gradient put onto this hard drive caddy. Okay, what do we do here? Slide it in, line it up, pull it back. It says we're on lock. Feels good down there. Put the screw in. While we're here, I do. I am also curious how much RAM we have at the moment. There's much that's required to get to there. We do have a little vent going on here. I see one RAM slot. I don't see two. And this customer might be catching me in a good mood, and I may also upgrade their RAM free of charge while I'm there. Then we're probably going to be using DDR3 sodium RAM. 
Let's see, what do we have? Ho oh, oh. ho! We have 8 gig of 2R PC3L, low voltage. Let's go see what I have. And they are in luck. I have some of the exact same stuff floating around. So put that in the RAM slot there. This little notch here must line up with here. Goes in, pulls down, locks in. So we go in, push down. That's now installed. No real trick to it. Let's clear the dust over here. Much cleaner. Now this sits back on here. Lines up, folds down. Sits in, grab the screws, pack in two locations. So as I mentioned, from here I'm going to be reinstalling Windows 10. There is Windows 11, but this machine does not support it, being it's an older 5th, uh, fourth gen Intel i5. Exclu ex yeah, excuse my LEDs for flickering right there. Um, and what I'll be doing here is reinstalling Windows 10 off a USB. Then I'll be hooking up this to an external adapter and transferring their data from there to the machine. Should be looking pretty sweet from there. Next up, this looks like it just kind of clicks in. There's grooves up the top that it slides into. So I'll slide into the groove, fold down, push, click, 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 crunch. Up, I think. I don't know. I think those screws also need to be done up as well. Now yeah, I forgot to blow out the back of this, but oh well, you get that some days. So I'll go and do that once I've finished this video. One screw over here, one screw over here. Should hopefully line up. That's going in now. Here to go do around it and just cl click it and crunch it back into position. There we go. A couple of covers go back on. Cover number one. Doesn't want to be fussy about it, that's for sure. There we go. Now we're good. Over the other side, over here. Similar scenario, just pushes in. Go, and that is done. So that is the hard drive replaced on a HP Envy Beats all-in-one PC. Hope that helps you, and I'll see you later. Bye.